Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Silent Hunter 3. Last episode we managed to sink that uh, medium cargo, which is good because we've been doing pretty badly this patrol, to be honest. Uh, now I am skedaddling away from this shallow water here, and we're going to go up to uh, area CG82, I think, and just patrol around here for a couple of days, because I think we're probably going to catch something trying to round uh, the coast of Portugal here. Now, um, just quickly, I wanted to say thank you to uh, all my subscribers. Uh, I hit a milestone recently, and uh, as of recording this, I have 100 plus subscribers, which is a lot more than I was expecting to get uh, this early on. So thank you very much for that. Um, it does mean a lot to me that you guys enjoy my videos. It really does. So thanks, and I hope you continue to watch and enjoy. Anyhow, I will uh, head up here and let you know if I see anything. Okay, well here we are in our new grid, so the plan is to just patrol around here for a couple of days, as I was uh, saying. Uh, I'm going to try and stick uh, as much as I can to the coast of Portugal, I'm going to not try to go too far out to sea, because I get a feeling that smart merchant captains are actually trying to stick uh, fairly close to the coast, um, knowing full well that they're safer there. Um, but we'll have a look here anyway and uh, see what we can find. Uh, the weather out there is pretty terrible. It's dark now, so you can't see, but we've got waves and um, wind. I believe it's still raining as well. Let's have a look. Uh, no rain. Okay, it stopped raining, but we've still got poor visibility and quite fast winds too, so... Oh well. Um, can't win them all. I'll probably go to uh, Periscope Depth uh, for a while uh, just to have a listen pretty soon. Um, but yeah, you know the drill. We go back and forth until we find something to shoot at. Okay, well, we're changing course. We have a uh, merchant ship sighted. Uh, the men did pretty well spotting that in the dark. Uh, let's have a look. Where are you? Should be straight ahead of us somewhere. I, I can't see that. It's, it's just too dark. Um, where are you thinking it might be? Do, do, do. Nearest visual contact, please. Directly ahead of us. Bearing one. Ah. That looks like a neutral ship. That's a pity. It's probably Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, just coasting along there. That's very disappointing. Oh well. Um, we will uh, probably skirt around that. Uh, I'm not going to bother going to periscope depth to avoid her. Uh, we'll just... Uh, I've gone up to a head standard. We'll just go to a head full just for a little bit so, so we can get out of her um, get out of her way. That's very disappointing. You know, I might relocate. Uh, I've got a feeling any ships we are going to sight are likely to be neutral. Um, and that is almost certainly neutral because of the... Um, the um, uh, what am I saying? the uh, the lighting, right? So uh, either that or it's a allied hospital ship. One way or another, we're not going to be shooting at it. Um, so I'm just going to evade this one, and then we might relocate. I think we might head down. Let's have a look at this. Um, so this these routes here are what we want. So this really isn't somewhere I want to be. Maybe if I come out... Yeah, I might come out and try and, and intercept a... Uh, Convoy coming out here. So we might relocate to uh, CG85 for now, and then if we can't find anything there, we might head to CG88 or CG89. Uh, but uh, we'll leave this area for now. Um, just uh, get out of the way of this ship, and uh, I'll get back to you when we have some more action. I'm just going back to periscope depth. We're in our new uh, grid. I'm hopeful we'll have a little bit more luck here because um, it does look like convoys come out more or less in this area. Uh, we've got some nice uh, convoy routes here. I would prefer obviously to shoot at a uh, lone merchant because I'm uh, running out of torpedoes at this point. If you have a look in here, we've got uh, only a couple left. 
Um, and one in the aft tubes here. Actually, we've got two here. We can reload that once. So four torpedoes. But still, uh, that's not too bad. I'm going to stay here for a couple of days, I think. We were only up there for 24 hours. So this, I will stay here for at least two days, I think. We've still got fuel. Not a great deal. Once we get down to about 25% fuel, I think I'll be needing to turn back. Um, because it is still quite a long way up uh, around Spain. I lived in Spain for a while. It's actually a surprisingly large country um, compared to the rest of Europe. I mean, it's a big chunk of, of Europe. So, um, yeah, driving from um, Granada, where I lived down here, up to Madrid was uh, quite an adventure. So anyway, uh, big country. We need fuel. Uh, we need to be careful about that. So uh, I'll let you know when we see something. It's still uh, pretty cloudy out here. We're underwater now, but uh, you can see not a great deal to see. Just uh, grey cloud and grey seas. And somewhere down here there is a submarine, which will uh, hopefully uh, be a little bit more uh, useful down here than it is up there with the uh, sound man listening for propellers. We might have a little bit more luck than we would uh, on the surface. So let's see how we go. Okay, it's two o'clock now on uh, 14th of June and uh, it's still quite choppy and windy up here. The men have their coats on because obviously it is quite cold, but uh, the visibility has improved immensely. Um, well, not immensely, but uh, we've got decent, decent visibility now. We can at least see the horizon, kind of. Uh, so I've come back to the surface and um, just going to try and uh, use my uh, crew's keen eyes to catch something. Uh, yeah, not much else to report, really. Just we're going to continue pottering around here on, uh, on the surface now. If it gets stormy, I will go back, uh, back down again. The weather has been changing quite a lot actually. Uh, it keeps on clouding over and then clearing up but uh, we've still got choppy seas and strong winds so I think uh, I think the worst is uh, yet to come as far as that storm is concerned. Once we're done here I think I might come down uh, back to this kind of area. Uh, CG 98 might be my next target. We might actually risk this shallow water here and see if we can catch anything on its way down uh, out to Africa and then we'll head back up to this um, dangerous but very uh, rewarding uh, grid here. High risk, high reward is this grid right here. So um, we'll continue and uh, I'll let you know how we go. Just got this interesting message that uh, came through. The United States has frozen German and Italian assets in America. So um, yeah, we're not at war with them yet, but I think they're making it fairly clear whose side they're on. Uh, so yeah, We'll be uh, shooting at American ships before long, I think. Um, it is still, uh, it's just about to um, become a couple more hours. It'll w it will be June 15. So we'll stay here for one more day and then I'll relocate, I think. That's the plan for now. Uh, things may change, but uh, yeah. Still windy out there. Let's, uh, let's keep going and uh, something is bound to turn up eventually. All right, now this is the news I was hoping for. We have a large convoy report uh, their speed is eight knots. However, they are heading southeast. Southeast. You know what? I think they might be. Southeast is a strange direction for them to be heading because they'll all be beached on the <laughs> coast of Africa if they continue on that course. I think they're probably zigzagging their way up um, towards Gibraltar. Uh, if they are going. If they are going east, in any kind of gen general easterly direction, they are probably going to be heading this way. I mean, there's nowhere else for them to go, is there? I suppose they could be um, going to dock at Casablanca, but I doubt it. So we are going to assume, in spite of the course that they're going, we're going to assume that they're going to be heading in that kind of direction, more or less. So um, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to try and conserve fuel, so we're just going to go ahead standard for this one. Eight knots, they're going. Uh, anyway, I'll clean this up, and we'll see if we can intercept this. I don't know where it might be heading, but the fact that it's heading in an easterly direction is comforting to me. If it was heading southwest, I wouldn't try and intercept it, but southeast, possibly, possibly we could catch it. Um, we've only got a couple of torpedoes left anyway. So uh, let's see if we can 
find whatever this is. Maybe we'll get a, an update from whatever is tracking this um, this convoy. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. All right. Well, here we are. It's uh, 1500 hours, uh, 15th of June. Uh, we didn't get any indication of a convoy anywhere around here, so I can only assume that they they turned. They may have gone down towards Africa and then turned uh, south um, down the coast along here. I don't know. I, I or I might have just missed them entirely. But uh, it was it was worth it was worth having a go. It was a gamble, um, but they did not come in the direction I anticipated they might uh, turn. So now I think, seeing as we're over here, we might as well do what I was talking about earlier and head up towards uh, CG. 98. I would very much like to get a shot at one, at least one more ship before I head home. How's our fuel situation going after that little um, escapade? Still pretty good. I mean, the fuel, it's starting to look alarming, but we could very easily be out here. Let's slow down now to save fuel. Uh, we could very easily be out here a couple more weeks if we conserved our fuel. So um, it's just making sure we have enough to get home. I like to head home on 25% fuel minimum when I'm around here. Uh, so, yeah, let's just move over here, and um, I'm sure we'll get more luck if we stick to these um, couple of uh, grids just here. Uh, we should catch something coming in and out of uh, the Straits of Gibraltar. Uh, but we've got to be very, very careful uh, not to get bombed. Um, still, this early in the war, it should be okay. Aha, I spoke too soon. Look at this. Large convoy northeast. That's probably the same convoy, if I had to guess. Uh, I knew they were in the area somewhere. Looks like we overshot them. They are definitely going to be heading into Gibraltar here. Um, definitely. So it's time to think about intercepting them. Uh, looks like they might be heading more in the, that way direction, though. So I'm still a little bit trepidatious about whether or not we can actually catch them. Particularly with me needing to conserve fuel, we will go up to a head, a head uh, standard and um, try and get a little bit closer. I'll uh, do some calculations here and work out exactly where they're likely to be at their current course and then we'll, uh, we'll try and intercept them. I'll let you know if we find them. Alright, let's have a look at this, shall we? Uh, northeast should be about... I need to get that out of the way. That's not going to work. Northeast should be about... Um, about that uh, should be about 45 degrees so no a little bit more um, 30 40 th that should be more or less northeast of, if I'm not very much mistaken roughly and of course there will be an arc so if they're heading in that kind of direction uh, what kind of speed are we talking do, 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 do. This is a very useful tool. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and let's have a look at this. Here we go. So they're going eight knots, which means, let's say, six hours. They should cover 80 something. Um, okay, so in s let's say seven hours, they should do around 100, um, around 100 uh, kilometers. Uh, every six to seven hours. So that's 50, 100, 100's up there, that'll do. So in about eight hour, uh, uh, seven, eight hours, they should cover that. Um, let's, let's look at our course here. There we go. Um, where is my navigation officer? Reports. Uh, time to last waypoint, please. Five hours. We should be fine. Well, we're almost there, but we've got some bad news. I was hoping that we would get an update of them somewhere over here, but no, of course not. They seem to have turned... <sighs> Unless that's a different convoy. And they're, now, they're now heading west-northwest, so that sounds about right. It looks like they've, they've turned up this way. Um... And if we draw a line between those two, that does sound about right. So maybe what they were doing is they were, they came from this kind of direction from Africa, and then they, they turned up here. 
Um, that's somewhat frustrating. I have to say, how far away are we? Well, I could go... If I had a bit more fuel, which I don't, I could try and do this. I could try to go back up where we were and try and intercept them up here. But, um... How many kilometers is that? It's going to be about 250. Uh... Mm, where is that off? Uh, navigation officer. Time. 10 hours. Is it worth it? I think it might be. Okay. Um, scratch that. I I was right. These, this is a different convoy. There are two convoys here. Um, I got that absolutely spot on. That That is where they are. So we are... Oh, yes. We're back in business. So there's actually two convoys. That's a smaller one, and this is a big, big convoy. So excellent. I did a, th I did a thing, people. I did a thing. So we'll rub this out now. I'm very glad that we got that update. Otherwise, I would have missed this. Um, we can now uh, very happily intercept them. Uh, we can draw a line between these two points and get a very good esti uh, estimation of where they're going. Hopefully they won't change... Oh, they're heading east now. Ha 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 ha. Thank you very much. So they were in that direction. Now they're heading east, which means we are on a spot-on intercept course now. So I'm going to turn back in here. We will go to a head full for a little while, just so they can get into position quickly, because we aren't far away now. That's... Uh, only, yeah, we need to get there quickly. Um, and uh, hopefully next time you see me, I will be... Uh, moving into position for atta an attack on a large uh, convoy. I'm curious as to what this was, actually, as well. This looks like a smaller convoy, but... Uh, yeah, see, this is how it happens. Uh, you see absolutely nothing for days, and then suddenly everything appears all at once, all over the map, and you, you are spoiled for choice. So we can probably put this away now, and um, I'll get back to you soon. All right, here we are. We're in position for an attack. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, we have the destroyer over here, two destroyers over here, but they're far away enough that I'm not too concerned about them. There's another one that's going to come along here. And if we look in the periscope, which I've just pulled up, somewhere here you can see fire. I'm sorry, we are getting a little bit of lag just because my computer absolutely hates it when it rains in this game. Um, there is not a great deal I can do about that, I'm afraid. So we might get a little bit of dropping frame rate here and there, but somewhere out there there was fire. I did see fire. So it looks like somebody else has been there. You can see it off in the horizon there. Somebody else has been uh, attacking this convoy. There is definitely fire off on the horizon there. So that's helpful. Um, very helpful, in fact. Uh, so, yeah. Well, we did get reports. So it looks like this convoy has been attacked before. Uh, makes sense, I guess, because, you know, those reports must have come from somewhere, and whatever sent that report in, probably another submarine, took a pot shot at them. So, we have damaged ships. All I need to do now is concentrate on uh, positioning myself correctly for an attack. Uh, this line here represents more or less where they're going to be. I think I might use my stern tubes... Maybe, because just the position I'm in here, it might take a little bit too long to turn around. I mean, I'll only get one shot, that's the problem. Whereas I can use two torpedoes with the uh, with the forward tubes. I'll try and turn around if I can. Let's, let's get a little bit of distance here. Let's go up this way. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to turn, uh, loop back around before they get too close. What kind of range are we going to be shooting at here? too close. We need to get a little bit further over here, um, for sure, and then uh, then we'll be okay, because we are definitely too close right now. Okay, that destroyer is quite close. Uh, it's time to slow down and go to uh, silent running. I think. Let's have a look. We should be within visual of that destroyer now. Not ready to load the... Ah, there it is. See that? That looks... Um, 
That looks like a flower class to me. I can't really tell from here. No, it's a bit big to be a flower class. Also, it's a bit early in the war, I think. Oh, maybe not. It might be a flower class. One way or another, it's uh, it represents trouble for us, so we need to stay quiet and low. I should probably slow down to one knot at this point. I think I, I think I will. I mean, I'm com comforted by the storm. One knot, please. Um, so we'll just stay down here until that that's moved off. Uh, and we'll start to turn around now. What kind of range are we going to be shooting at? Ah, not enough. Not enough. See, this is the thing with these convoys. Trying to get between... We might not have a choice but to use the stern torpedoes. Because um, it's just too difficult to maneuver. Uh, this is the problem. See, trying to get between the destroyer on the one hand, which is up here, and the convoy on the other, which is going along, along that way. We'll see. I'm, I'm still optimistic that we might be okay. Okay, I've gone back down to one knot. Uh, just sped up a little bit there so we could get this done quickly. The destroyer didn't spot us. Now is the time to set up for an attack. Look at that. Even before I raise the scope, there's a ship straight on top of us. Look at that. Oh, what a target. And that one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That looks like a Granville type. And I think that might be what we shoot at. What's this? Yep. I think we might shoot at this one. Um, that's that's basically the best type. I don't know if that's a Granville, actually. Let's, let's start working it out. Oh, maybe not. Hang on a minute. Let me just check the map. Yeah, we're cutting that a little bit fine. We know it's going eight knots. See if I can identify it. That's it. It's an ore carrier. Finally. Gotcha. All right. Well, we know what that is. We know more or less how quick it's going. We know it's going eight knots ish. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Do we want to risk it? Yes, I think we will. We'll, we'll fire at it. Because we know what speed it's going. We know it's almost exactly like that. We know it's a, a thousand meters out. And we have a solution, more or less. Now, all we need to do is just make sure we're firing tube three. Let's have a look. Set the torpedoes up quickly. Uh, we are left it a little bit late. Impact won't go any faster than that. Let's have a look. I can't see with all these bloody lines here. Um, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, I'm going to have a shot at it anyway. Um, yeah, that's about right. Open tube three. So one more look in this. I don't know. I can't tell if any of these lines are, are my... All right, let's fire at it. It's a terrible angle, but that is not going to be visible because of, um, yeah, that's not a good angle. But there goes the torpedo. That's, uh, that's not a good angle, but uh, this torpedo is going to be invisible because of um, being a, oh, and I forgot to set the depth. Damn it. See, that's that's uh, haste doing that. But it should be fine because I it should be set for uh, maybe uh, four meters to three or four meters. Let's have a look. See if I can see it. So this is the problem with, with firing a, a torpedo like that because you can't actually uh, follow it with the weight, but it's looking damn close. Let's see. Let's see what happens. That is looking pretty good. Very clumsy attack on my part, but as long as... The, see, that the main problem is the angle. The gyro angle is just terrible. So being an impact torpedo, it might not go off, but now is time to find out. Yes, it went off. She's going down. Look at that. What a kill. I could fire at that as well, but I think uh, let's not risk it, shall we? Wow, broke her back, I think. Yes, look at that. Her back's broken. Brilliant. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, do we fire at this? No, they'll start maneuvering now, most likely. What is that? 
that's not worth it. That That's not worth a torpedo. It's too small. But there we go. We got one. Successful attack. Uh, that is going to sink really fast. Look at it go, will ya? Upscope. I might as well watch this. That's one less ore carrier. That was 7,000 tons. That was very lucky. Very lucky on my part. Somehow they got a boat off as well. That sank in less than a minute. Straight to the bottom. Bloody hell. I don't envy the poor bastards on that. Well, it looks like they had no idea what hit them. They may have uh, thought that that was a mine, although this is pretty deep water for a mine. Um, anyway, uh, they didn't react one way or another, so I made the right choice using that uh, that uh, Type 2 torpedo, was it? I think I'd, I'm pretty sure I fired a Type 2 at it. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Yes, I did. I've still got my Type 1. But anyway, uh, the point is, uh, that was a very successful attack indeed. Lucky shot, for sure. Lucky shot. Now, over here we have what is clearly a damaged or... Um, uh, it looks fairly stationary. I'd say that another submarine has damaged uh, a merchant over there. And it's limping along, uh, trying to keep pace with the convoy and uh, failing dismally. So we are going to go and see what that is and see if we can uh, take credit for the kill. Uh, that, that should be very exciting. So I'll uh, head in that direction. We're going to stay uh, at periscope depth throughout, I think. Uh, at the moment, I'm... Where am I? I'm 70 meters down. But uh, the destroyers don't know where we are, so I'll probably start to head up now. Um, we'll stay at silent running until these destroyers sort of get further away. Uh, there's no need to rush. Uh, we will just move uh, in this general direction and uh, see if we can get a visual on whatever this is over here. Come on, you. That looks like a small freighter, I believe. It's not a small freighter. It's not a small merchant. It's not a tramp steamer. It is a small freighter. So let's uh, get its... Speed, are we down to one knot? We are. So let's get this wheel down and find out how quick it's going. Whoops. Uh, let's find out how quick it's going. Is that maximum magnification? Yes, that is. So we're going to get this clock ready. Uh, oh, we better enter it first. Hang on. Lock into that. Unlock. Um, get this down. And in a moment we will... Click this. Yeah, it's definitely going pretty slow. Its length is 78. It's unlikely to see me in this weather, so I'm not too concerned by the periscope. I'll just drop it tiny. You can usually get away with doing that as long as you don't move the periscope from side to side. Actually, it might be going a little bit quicker than I thought. Mark. All right, well... Yeah, that was definitely max mag magnification there. Okay, so it's just around 30. 28, maybe. 28 seconds. So let's get this wheel here. We're going to look for 78. And we're going to move that to... Wait a minute. We're going to move 28 to 70. 78. So, about that, where's 78? About there. So that should give us the speed. She's going around five knots. I think that's good enough. I could take the speed again, but I'm not going to. So let's set this up. Uh, we're going to be using tube two. We're going to set it for medium. Impact. Um, what's the uh, depth keel here? Draft of six, we'll set it for th uh, four, I think. Just because it's choppy. Okay, fix that. Uh, where was I? Yes, of course. Uh, set that for maybe three and a half. Um, so the torpedo is ready to go. We need the angle on bow, which is 
which I started to do earlier, but uh, there we go. And I'm still moving slowly. I was definitely going one knot. So the angle on the bow is now going to be about 55, 57. Um, let's set it for, whoops, uh, it'll be 60 now. So let's set it about that. That should be about right. Angle on bow's done. Speed, five. That's what we got. Range, uh, I think it's about 800. I'll check that quickly. Oh, it might be, I might be a little bit too close. Wow, we're at minimum range. Uh, range 500. Any closer and we wouldn't be able to fire. Range 500. And that's our solution. Open tube two. Let's get some dudes in the, uh, in damage control and in the torpedoes. So tubes open. Tube two. Actually, let's just check this quickly. That looks pretty damn good. What's the gyre angle looking like? It's spot on. Tube two, loss. I'm not going to bother dropping the scope for this one because uh, that's, they're going to see our wake anyway. So, in a moment, let's just stay here. I, I'm not sure if I got that. That's a funny looking small merchant, isn't it? The color's throwing me off. Oh, I'm not optimistic about this, people. I think I might have misidentified it. Doesn't look good. Yeah, I missed. Damn it. What a shame. She's going faster than five knots. It might be a um, passenger ship of some form, and I can't fire at it again because... Um... Oh, well. I don't know. Was that what I thought it was? I'm curious. No, it wasn't. I think it's, I think it's something else. I think it might be a passenger, small passenger ship of some form. I don't know. I don't know what that is, to be honest. Um, I did something wrong there. It went aft, but uh, win some and lose some, as they say. Shut that up before we all go mad. And uh, yeah, disappointing, but uh, again, win some, lose some. Now there was another one over here somewhere, I thought, but uh, Apparently not. I'm sure I could hear another another ship, another straggler out there. Almost tempted to try and chase it, but not with these destroyers around. That that would be too dangerous with the noise of the engines. So we're going to let that go. Um, I'd still consider that an extremely successful attack indeed. Uh, that is the last Ford uh, torpedo. That fellow is getting really tired. We're going to fix that. So yeah, that's that's it. I think I might uh, consider heading home now, actually, because we've only got the aft tubes left, and um, there's no there's no real point in hanging around. Maybe I'll just patrol around for a few more days, uh, seeing as I'm here, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you uh, when I've decided what I'm going to do, and I'll let you know what I uh, what I uh, have in mind. And good news, we have one more straggler here. I I knew I'd heard heard one earlier. We come up here. There it is. Very slow um, propeller there. So that's definitely been damaged or something. Uh, convoy stragglers are so much fun to shoot at. Uh, we're going to tr try and shoot a stern tube at that. Okay, that looks to me like a small freighter. I have taken her speed and uh, we are getting about three knots, two or three knots. I'm probably going to set it for two and a half because she's going very slowly. Um, but it's now time to lock on that. We've entered that. I set up the torpedoes a moment ago. Uh, let's just double check that. Yep, we'll set it for impact. I might set this one for, yeah, leave it on medium. Okay, that's all good. Let's get the angle on bow here for this little boat. Hopefully this time we'll get more luck. We are going one knot. So we are moving very slowly, although it doesn't look like it, I think. Keep moving. Okay, let's enter the speed. The speed, I think, is two and a bit. 
we'll set that. Oh, that. That's what I think it's doing. I think it's doing about uh, maybe two and a half. There we go. That'll do. Uh, range. Let's uh, double check the range. It's going to be about approximately 750, 800. Approximately. So let's set it for range 700. Angle on the bow. What was the angle on the bow? Can't remember now. I think I started to set that up. Angle on the bow is now 60. 60 to... I hope I got that right last time. Yep. 60. And that's our solution. Um, now we just got to wait for the gyro angle to come round. I could try and take a speed one more time, I suppose. How's that gyro angle looking? Bring this down. So, her length is 78. I hope I'm doing this right. Length is 78. The time we had before was for about 40 seconds. So there's 78 there. Yeah, am I... Ah, uh, this could be... Is that what I'm dealing with? I'm going to check that in a minute. Hang on. 40. Stop. Oops. Damn it. It was about 42. So let's lock on that again. 42, 78. 78's there. And 42 is about here. 42 to 78. So there's the 42. That's the 78 mark about there. And we're getting three and a half knots now. Hmm. Maybe I will set it up a little bit. Let's set it for one, two, one, two, three. Let's set it for three. All right. I think it's going three knots. Three and a half. Let's say three and a half. All right, that's about ready to go now. Um, I'm wondering whether that's a passenger ship again. It doesn't look quite right, does it? It's too late now, though. I think it might be that, you know? It's another passenger. Damn it. Okay. Well, we don't have time to take a speed again. Damn it. Or do we? What's the gyro angle here? No, we don't have time. We're just going to have to risk it. I'm going to guess it's uh, going about three, four knots. Three and a half. We're just going to have to guess it. I misidentified it again. They look very similar, uh, don't they? But anyway, let's, let's fire a little bit ahead this time because uh, of what happened before. Open the tube. This time we might get lucky and I'm going to fire. Approximately now. Torpedoes away. All right, well, I'm not optimistic about this one either because, again, I misidentified it. The problem is from the front, these uh, passenger cargo ships look a lot like... Um, uh, they look a lot like the small merchants. Um, but that looks okay. Let's have a look here. Whoops. That might be a hit. Maybe. I'm just going to clip her nose, I think. Possibly. Oh, damn, I shouldn't have aimed ahead. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I got her, but it's a little ahead. Oh, well. What? Took her nose off, so that should... That should send her to the bottom, to be honest. Because she's already damaged. She was already limping. Um... Nice work, fellas. Let's put some men in the torpedoes and actually start reloading that right away. Because uh, if we can get that reloaded, we might be able to buy one more shot at it before the destroyers come, come around. Assuming it doesn't uh, sink anyway. Let's put you in there. Thank you. All right. So let's just shadow her for a while and we'll see if we can... Um, Send her to the bottom with the last torpedo if she doesn't go down. It's definitely a passenger cargo, so my bad there. 
That's the second time I misidentified that kind of ship. I need to be a little bit more careful with my, uh, with my identification. But hopefully it will go down now. She's uh, going down. There's a flare up there. And uh, if you look here, you can see a boat. There they are. They've launched their boat. Um, that is the kill. She is going down. She's definitely going down. Uh, let's watch this do its thing. Come around here. I think it's a pretty good view. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be the final plunge. She's probably going to go vertical. Possibly. And then sink. Let's pull back a little bit, actually. If we look in the periscope. We've still got visual on it. And the men are very excited, as you can hear. <laughs> so, yep. There's the boat. There's the ship. No explosions. Yeah, you can hear the men in the water. That's uh, not a pleasant sound. Yep, she's gone. She's gone. She's going to go vertical and then disappear. All right, we're back on the surface uh, after our attack. The weather is still awful, of course. But uh, we have here... Two kills, and what did we get? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, actually, we'll do that first. I'm going to radio in, uh, send status report, uh, because we're going to go home, and the uh, the uh, Royal Navy knows there's a submarine in the area anyway, because we just got an attack. So we'll, uh, what did they say? We'll get a, we've got one torpedo left. We've got five ships sunk for 19,000 tons. That's pretty damn good. Uh, so we should get a response back soon, and um, they'll let us know whether or not we can go home. We, we are going home, <laughs> but um, hopefully they'll actually pat us on the back, tell us well done, and we'll be able to just head home. Uh, now, kills, here we go. We got, yes, it was a passenger cargo, and we got a, what was that? Ore carrier, yep, 8,000 tons. Fantastic. So I think it's time to head home. Uh, I uh, will let you know if we see anything along the way. We've got one torpedo left, so theoretically we could shoot at something, but the plan is basically just to head back to St. Nazir and um, call it a day. Uh, I'll let you know if we see anything, otherwise see you back in port. Right, I am crash diving here because we have an aircraft spotted not far away. Uh, as, you, as you can see, the visibility is much better now. So down we go, please. Down we go. That, I think, is the first aircraft we've seen on this patrol. We're under. It's fantastic. Now let's have a look. Where was it? It was over there. Yeah, I don't think it saw us, so I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're on the coast of Portugal now, just past Lisbon. In fact, that could be a friendly aircraft. I mean, it might be a, um, a neutral. But I don't want to uh, push my luck, so down we go. Okay, there's another one here. Uh, time to crash dive again. I think we might have to run at periscope depth from now on. Ooh, wow, it's... Down we go. There's an aircraft up there somewhere, but uh, that's the second one we've seen. Uh, in as many days So yep, we got away with it. I think Can you hear an engine? I can hear there it is look up there I'm not sure if you guys can see that but I'm down. I'm gonna keep going down. Let's have a look Is it coming around? It's still a way away We and Hello there that looks British. Yeah, it looks like a hurricane to me anyway uh, that's why we are now going to stay uh, submerged during the day until we get past uh, Portugal here. We should be a bit, uh, bit better off when we get into the Bay of Biscay. But things might be a bit slow until then. Pity, but, uh, you know, just got to be on our toes here and uh, take it easy. We just picked up a message from... Uh, U-138, uh, she has been damaged, heavy flooding, unable to dive, taking on 
Water after banding boat. Well, that's the end of the U38, so we lost another one, unfortunately. Things are going to get hard for the uh, for the submarines pretty soon. Hello, you've still got your jacket on, old boy. You want to uh, you want to do something about that? We will. Uh... Actually, they're they're all looking pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll leave them there for now. Anyway, we are past the uh, the danger zone here, so we are running on the surface again, and we're just going to make a beeline for home. So hopefully, next time you see me, we'll be in port. This has been a pretty good patrol in the end. Uh, was off to a bad start. We had terrible luck at the beginning, and then near the end, uh, things came good. So uh, I'm happy with this. Uh, I'll see you back in port, everyone. All right, well, here we are. The end of Patrol 2. Fantastic. Really good. So, um... What do we have here? We've got five merchant ships, 19,000, close to 20,000 tons. Hull integrity, 100%, miraculously enough. We got 573 morale, uh, re, what am I saying, renown. And I have been awarded a U-boat front clasp. Thank you very much. The crew has got promotions and medals. Uh, anything else to report? Nope. I have... I have not been promoted, I just got that uh, lovely clasp. So that's excellent. And here we have our um, our list of kills. You can see all the information there. So not a bad patrol, all things considered. Uh, obviously, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, and we'll uh, hopefully be back soon with another episode. We'll start Patrol 3. So thank you very much for viewing. This has been Kairos, and I will see you all in the next episode.